Yeah. Uh, it's we're, not fair. We said postage is up to 60 cents a letter now. That's just to send it. We have to pay some somebody to put letters together, somebody to mail them. It's it's costing us money, and nothing's happening. So this is the last resort. And I will make a motion to find go with all the fines listed. I'll second that. Are you talking about the whole? Three pages or just the two pages? Two pages. Two pages. Two pages. Two pages. Two pages. Yeah. Yeah. And all of these have been notified at a minimum one time. Twice. Oh, no. Twice. No, twice. No, twice. It has to be twice. As called twice. communications. That's what we Well, have and to. I have the reports here if anybody wants to look at them on when the letters did go out. It's all documented. Uh, I just want communication yeah, on, on what you're going to do. Because some of these are like six months old sure. and two and, and, and Tara, I will admit, the conundrum that I have is like, yeah, are, what is going to get them to, to act? You know, the whole carrot and stick. Now, uh, we are on a timely basis now because over the holidays, I don't send letters. Um, but we are on a weekly basis that we do pick two, three streets. And every week, it's going to be systematic. It's not like before where I would go out and then, because the committee got involved with me and helped me with this, and, and Bill has hired somebody to help me do the letters. I mean, this is very time consuming, and I'm not saying anything for me, but it, it is a lot, and people just aren't paying attention to their homes. Some of them. No. Uh, there are other people that are great. And I like the fact that if they do have it, they can come up to the fining committee mm -hmm. yes. and they can do stuff. And also hearing from Realtors, uh, the fact that Stony Brook does not have a master landscaper, so it helps keep keep our fees low. That does kind of hurt us because right. we at Realtors are have have said you drive through, you got salt houses are nice. Well, I'm just afraid if we lower any of these fines, it's not like the last fines. time we I did not have one person show up. So obviously, a hundred bucks, five hundred bucks is nothing to them. Well, can I make? I want like neat communication. Can I make a suggestion? Next All time you right, make this list, talk. put the year in there too. The year what? Yeah, you started it. Started on because you run into almost a year of waiting early on these some of these. Yeah, well, like June, I said, June, June, or July of July 21. But you better put July 21, 2021. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How long will it take to get letters out to all these people? Well, after today, and because of the number, there's 53 of them. Right. Um, I would have to divide, talk to the committee, get at least two separate dates, and I have to have it out 14 days before we have the meeting. Okay. My question was, do you think by next meeting we'll have an answer to some of these if you get them out, or that's yeah, not we, enough time? No. It yeah. goes out, the next meeting is going to be the second Wednesday in June. And our meeting's next week. What do you mean our meeting's next week? Board, Board meeting's the following The following week. So we yes. don't have that information about it. So I, I, I think it's but, the right thing to do. Let's, let's do it and let's see what kind of results we get. Any other comments from the board? Who made a motion? I did. What was the motion? To go ahead with the fines as printed. Okay. Who seconded that? I'll second. Rick, Rick you seconded that. I second. Yeah, Rick seconded that. Okay, all in favor of the motion to go ahead with the fines as printed signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Period. I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, not having been involved with the fines and stuff, uh, when you have a violation and you send the letters and then you find someone, do you have, do they then fix it? I mean, that's yeah. the point. That's, That's the, the point. point. They the but they come to the fine. compliance meeting, and at that point, they state what they're going to be doing. Okay. If they don't, for instance, there's a house back here that painted a color that was not approved. Uh, last year, I sent one letter. I sent a second. Then we fined her. We fined her $1,000, and we gave her the grace if she repainted within 30 days, we would waive the fine. If not, we would add another 1000 we added the other thousand. On those types of things, a year goes by, I start the process all over again. So I did. I sent them a letter saying, we're starting again. And she finally called and wanted to know what the approved colors were so she could repaint. It's so just a process. What happened to the $2,000? Did you 
apply for a lien, or does it just go away? And it stays on their account, and they pay it. Oh, yeah. 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 At that point, if it's $2,000 and they haven't paid it, they're staying in line to get in every time they come home. Okay. That's all we can do legally. There, there's a process by state law in Chapter 720 of the state statutes that says you have to send first letter, wait 14 days, no response, second letter, and then we do what we're doing here. We've given these people a little bit of grace time and... We're very we reasonable. Very reasonable. Now we have to sort of get nasty a bit. Yeah. Okay. It's just not fair to the homeowners that haven't keep their place like they should. Let me just okay. let me just ask a question because it, 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 this happened to me while I was before I retired. I was out of town and I got a letter from the community and my roof was dirty. Well, it took one letter and I got my roof clean. I mean, I, I don't understand. But is there a percentage you could say of people that get a letter that respond to it and get it done? Oh, yes. Um, because they send in stuff and we do note the files and stuff. I would say at least 75, 80% of the people okay. do comply. Yeah, okay. I, I well, that's, that's one good. other that's issue. Good. That, Maybe a little higher. There's one other issue that I know. Let's see, how can I phrase this? I know that, that there's one landscape company here, particularly, that in their contract says that they will do trimming uh, periodically. And, and I have a neighbor who has asked for three months to do the trimming and they still haven't done the trimming yet. Uh, and their, their response is, well, the, the community sent out 500 letters on trying to get caught up. You know, I, I don't know, I don't know what the- Are you talking an individual that can't get their vendors there in a- Yeah, yeah. Oh, we work with them. Fault. Well, we work with yeah, them. Okay. We work with All right, them. I mean, that's- And that's a We document everything. That's a communication as long as right. you're yes. contact. Yeah. If you're communicating that you're having difficulties, you're not going to okay. get far. Okay, I mean, that's- Unless it's a year later. Sure, yeah. How many of these are rental homes? Good point. I don't think I can answer that. Because I live next door to one that's been a pain in the butt ever since. That's a good okay. question. Very good question. There are rentals, but you know, a lot of these, I can't answer that. Yeah. Just Regardless, I don't see it as being but an excuse. But the owner of the, the owner dwelling would be the yeah. one to get the left. Right. 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 But they don't care. They don't live there. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think if we turn off the barcode of the, the renter, uh, they'd hear about it real quick. Huh? If you turn off the barcode of the renter, yes. they'll, they'll hear about it real quick. I don't, know if you... I don't think he's living here. Wait, he's wait, he's wait, moving wait. out as a condo. That's what I wait. Yeah, but if you're paying rent and you're not able to get in the front thing with your barcode, I'd be contacting the owner of the house saying you're not living up to your lease agreement. Well, they won't do it. You try it. We were told we couldn't shut off the record because he has to contact us. I don't know. No, we, I, no. no they that's still that's, have that's an option in our covenants, and they have just, to follow our covenants. They have an option to come in. It's just, yeah, we're not they can come in. The they just have to wait in line. Right. Okay, moving okay. on, I think we killed the horse here. Um. Number six. We just did. We just did. Six, finished six round seven. I think we've overdone that one. <laughs> Projects, I'm basically done. I think. Uh, I mean, there's various things. Yeah, we've we covered on. the uh, events coming up. Uh, so let's move on to is there any old business to be brought up? No old no business. No business? Okay. Richard, you have, we already took care of your first one. Yes, and the second one, this is for the benefit, I've had two owners who asked about the possibility of having accessibility into the pool because of limited mobility. I only had two, and I looked into it briefly, because I, I was just notified very recently from one, and I did do some minimal research, and I discussed it with several of the board members, and I think right now it might be premature to make any suggestions or recommendations. There were issues brought up to me about 
something that sounds like a great idea could turn into something that it's a problem. And one thing that was raised, if we had a ramp going in, because we're at three feet as our minimum end, we may need a 30-foot ramp, and that would cut off a lot of the swimming area. That's one thing. So if the folks who did make complaint to me see this or hear about it, we looked into it. I, I'm going to continue to look into it, but I'm certainly uh, I'm not advocating that we go and spend fifty thousand dollars to have a an electric chair put in. Uh, but I'm going to look into it to see if there are alternatives that are reasonable. Because you know, if we do something, you want an ADA compliance, and if we do get a complaint. We have to make reasonable accommodations, but if they're not reasonable, we don't have to. And But one thing I'd ask of you, Tammy, if you could e-blast your contemporaries uh, mm -hmm. through Alliant to see if any of the communities do have a, a, a ramp in the swimming pool, what they have. And, and what's the depth of their pool yeah, the entrance? Yeah. Because they might have a ramp if it's a... Not an infant. Not an infant. I'm yeah. A shallow. A shallow. A shallow. Because ours is three feet. We might need a 30 foot ramp. We would need 36 feet. According 36 to foot ADA. ramp. Yeah. That, that we don't have 36 feet. No. It would take up half of the pool. And you may also right. call, um, call you may be required to have a lifeguard to do that too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, yeah. what, what the printed material available on ramping and stuff is that we are a private pool. Therefore, we don't need the guard. We don't have to follow the ADA requirements. Right. If it was open to public, then we're open to all the rules. So what we have is a private pool. So we're exactly. That's a very good point. The liability. The liability. We don't want to create a problem. Yeah. Well, we don't need to. Yeah, we don't want to solve a problem. By I, I raised problems. this. Yeah. In, 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 well, in one thing I think of, how many children are going to think it's a play toy? Right. Yeah. And, and one thing that uh, Bill I'm brought up that I never even thought of, if we have yeah. a ramp, mm -hmm. we got to make sure that no children climb under that ramp and get caught, God forbid, and then can't get out. But there are some valid points that might sway me to think a little differently. But if you could be blast uh -huh. your contemporaries. Sure. That would be a start for me, but that, that's all I have. I, I think it's much too premature to make any decisions, Bill. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Rich. Uh, our next board meeting is scheduled for uh, June, or I lose the date on June 21st. 21st? Okay. Uh, we are going to have a July meeting because uh, folks won't be here. Next meeting, Rich, you and Terry will be on the phone with us, so we'll yes. set up a conference number for you. Yes, sir. Anybody got anything for good of the order? I move that we adjourn. Thanks for coming, folks. Thanks for coming.